Welcome to Off the Rack. We're back on North Shore with Flynn Novak and Kevin Meza and a six pack of boards fresh off the rack from Surfboard Broker. Boards shaped by Hayden, Misfits, Stamps, Panda, JS, and Pizel. In this episode, we get to test two stab in the dark boards a JS for Dane Reynolds and a Dark Arts Panda for Taj Burra. Keeping us on our toes is Kevin Meza, aka Baja Koala. If Kevin wasn't on your radar before, he should be now for getting the wild card call up for last year's Stab High event. This is Nathan Fletcher calling you, buddy. We picked you and landed the first ever finger flip done in the ocean. He's quickly becoming known as one of the most progressive surfers on this planet. Kevin, did you sand your fins down? No, oh, no. I should, though, for Why? the finger flip. Why would they? To not land on the fins. Oh, I see. All last year, I had had to file down all my fans. Okay. Like I would make them flat. Looks like I grabbed one of Dane's boards. JS, hand shape, 6.0, 29 liters. Are you a believer in the leaders? Believer of the leaders. I want to know for sure. It just kind of helps out mentally what you think you're riding. I went over there. Where are you going? I'm gonna go to that right. Where? <laughs> Where no one surfed. <laughs> Tell me. There's clouds in the other side, no These people, they're running all in circles Tell me why the people never say hello uh, Just kind of hard to find an open face, but once I got into one, it felt really good on the rail Hold speed and like, uh, just feels really good rail to rail What are you going to ride first? I got, I think I'm going to ride the Paisel the Paisel. The, the, the Paisan. This one's a 6'1", 19 and a half, almost two and a half, 31 liters, kind of like my normal specs, but totally different shape than I'm used to, so I'm excited to try it. It's got like a nice pulled in tail. Tell me there's clowns in the office I know. These people, they're running all in circles. Tell me why the people never say hello Tell me why the people never say hello I'd recommend it for like bigger surf like if you wanted to ride a, a shorter board in bigger waves Overall it kind of had like a like a general feel of just stability. First Paisel I've ever ridden actually, and he was my neighbor for uh, close to 13 years here at Rocky Point. It's a Dark Arts uh, Stab in the Dark board for Taj Burrow. It's a Panda Sweet Leaf. By far the lightest board that I've ever had. A little small for me. The fuck, this is tiny. There's no dimensions on it. Let's see how she goes. Tell me there's clowns in the office I know. People, they're running all in circles. Tell me why the people never say hello. Tell me why the people never say hello. Never say hello. Alright, first surf on the Dark Art Panda. Sweetly. It felt hello. great on like a shoulder high wave. Just in between hello. the gusts of wind, but like with the wind, the board was so light, it was like really twitchy. It would just release a little extra than you thought it would. I got a Hayden shape. What is it? A 6 0, 19 and 3 quarters, 2 and a half, 31 liters. The model is the Raven. I think it's a Dion Aegis design where he was trying to get more carvy and do like big turns. It is a little bit wide. That might be a good recipe. Tell me why the people never say hello. Tell me why the people never say hello. Tell me why 
why the people never say hello. The way the water was rushing off the back, it kind of felt like um, like it gave it that extra grip. I had one turn where I kind of like pushed too hard, so I kind of I got to feel like that breaking point. I definitely want to try this thing again. I'm gonna take out the Hayden shaped uh, Raven. I rode it the other day. It was actually I I liked it. I was a bit tired when I got to try it at the end of the day, but felt like it wanted to wanted to go where I wanted it to. I just initially in the smaller surf, it felt like I had to really try. So today's a bit bigger, and it, maybe it'll like it. I'm sure I'll get to like push it to its limit, or it'll push me to my limit. into a nug and had like a nice nice barrel through through the middle and um, it held really nicely most of the time you get a, a random board you bring it out and it's just a dog and that could just be a rocky point thing and the thing could be epic at lower trestles or or other places that are more forgiving to serve I feel like it was a fair test 510 misfits mad minds for Mitch Holborn See if it makes me surf like Mitch. It went surprisingly well in the barrel and felt good. It had like a lot of hold. It just, you just had to trust it. Uh -huh. So I just surfed my whole session with my fin screws not screwed in. How did you not lose it? <laughs> Damn, so I've never ridden one of these, but it looks super sharp. The, the rails just look really fine tuned. The outline on the board looks insane. I'm excited to try this one. Checking it off the list. Worked insane. Put it to good use. It worked good for barrels, turns, and air. So three checks off the main list. So pretty good. All of a day for this one. I don't know if I would keep this board in my quiver, but that's the beauty about getting boards from Surfboard Broker is you can always trade them back in and trade them for something else. All these boards seem to perform in like kind of difficult conditions. I mean, Hawaii is, is it was, perfect waves and beautiful, but it's not. It's, it was uh, hard. It was difficult. It's got a lot of like water moving and a lot of like unseen chatter and current. And you're testing a board and it all matters. Like they have to make your surfing experience good, whether it's the paddle, the performance, what conditions you could ride it in. We're signing off. You're 30. Come on. <laughs>